the simplicity and beauty of a graphite pencil. With this one simple instrument, you can attain such drama, like black and white photography. You can turn a simple shape, whether it's a circle or a square, into a form with volume and depth, just by the shade work that you put into it. Uh, you can show light play over a surface so easily by replicating the highlights, the shadows, the, the simple contrast in, in light play as it goes over, but also the heavy shadows by working a little heavier on it. You have some nice edges that you can develop with just a pencil, whether they're soft and fluffy or very hard. All those things can be achieved with a little practice. I really like to choose my subjects not so much on what it is, but what it looks like. I love things that are textured. I love things that have light play over them, glass, shiny objects where I can duplicate all of those wonderful little light sparkles and reflections. I love variation in form, but I think probably it's, it's the light play that really excites me. Basics are really important. No matter whether you work in acrylic or whether you're working in pencil, you're doing watercolor, no matter what media or what subject you're doing or what technique, you could be an abstractist, you could be an impressionist, but if you don't have the basics, then you're going to be lacking something in your paintings. You need to have composition. The skills that, that bring a painting together you need to learn composition. You need to learn how forms work together, how light play affects an object. And I think when you have those and you're drawing those things, then anything else you choose to go into are going to be so much more realistic or if you're doing abstract, more uh, dramatic. The more you work at it, the better you're going to become. And I don't think there's anything such as a bad drawing or a goofy drawing. There's beginning art, there's more experienced art, but everybody has to start somewhere. And you'll be glad to have those first drawings as you advance because it's going to make you feel so good when you see where you're going, how you're developing from looking at those. So start somewhere, anywhere you can, and practice. Uh, sketchbook journaling is great for that little sketch here and there, carry it with you, and you'd be surprised how much you'll, you'll improve. <laughs>